Hello learners, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I am your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we are going to study about shape of bacteria. On the basis of shape, there are three types of bacteria, cocci, bacilli and spiral. Talking about cocci, cocci is a plural word while the coccus is a singular word. This word comes from the Greek word coccus which means grain, seed or berry. So the cocci bacteria, they are actually spherical or oval shaped bacteria like this. There are several arrangements of cocci and these arrangements they are based on the plane of division like how they are dividing the bacteria like this or like this or like this. So the first of all we have diplococcus. In the diplococcus di means two. So the cocci they are occurring in pair. It means that when two cocci they are joined together they will be known as diplococcus the example of diplococcus is diplococcus pneumonia and this bacteria it causes pneumonia in humans so here you can see the plane of division is one like this then comes the streptococcus in the streptococcus the strepto mean twisted chain so in this case the cocci they are forming long chains of cell here you can see that so many cocci they are joined together in the form of a chain so this is why it is known as streptococcus then comes the tetrad the tetrad means four the square of four cocci is known as tetrad here you can see that four cocci they are joined together so this is why they are known as tetrad so the plane of division is two one like this and the other one is like this then comes the sarsina the sarsina means bundle when the cube of eight cocci when they are present it will be known as sarsina so here you can see the four here in the front and the four at the back they are present the division of cell is three like one two and then three at the back so it is like a bundle here like this the bundles they are attached like this and then at the back are also present the cells so like this division can occur like this then comes the staphylococcus here the staphylo mean cluster or group of similar things which are occurring together closely here you can see the clusters of cocci so this is known as staphylococcus the division of cell is random here you can see like this you can randomly can divide these cells the example of Staphylococcus is a Staphylococcus aureus. Then comes the bacilli. Bacilli is a plural word while the bacillus is a singular word. And this word comes from the Latin bacillus which means stick. So the bacilli they are actually road shaped bacteria or they are just like a stick. Their division of plane is just one. If one single bacilli or roche bacteria is present, it will be known as bacilli. For example, Escherichia coli. Here you can see the example. Only one single structure or stick like structure is present. So this is bacillus. And in case of diplobacillus, two, I mean two. So two bacillus they are going to combine together. Here you can see one bacillus and the other bacillus so this structure is known as diplobacillus then comes the streptobacillus the strepto mean twisted chain so the bacilli when they are arranged in a long chain they are known as streptobacilli the example of streptobacillus is bacillus subtilis then comes the cocobacillus so in case of cocobacillus the bacteria they are shaped very short roads so instead of long roads they are very short that they are looking like a cocci so that is why they are known as cocobacillus then comes the spiral the spiral bacteria they are spirally coiled just like a spiral staircase here the main road is present and around it the staircase is moving or just like a spiral three more spiral shaped bacteria one is known as vibrio the vibrio bacteria they are curved or coma shape just like this like this so here you can see there is a bit curved structure present here so this is why it is known as vibrio the spiralum they are thick and rigid spiral here you can see they are thick in structure 
and they are rigid structured and that is why it is known as spiralum the third shape is spirochetes they are thin and flexible here you can see in comparison to this structure they are thin and they are more flexible in comparison to the spiralum so this is why they are known as spirochetes so that was all about the shape of bacteria if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section i'll see you in the next video